Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you saw by the title, we'll be doing my top 10 favorite Sephora part purchases of 2021. I am screaming at the top of my lungs. Screaming at the top of my lungs because I can't believe it's that time of year again. I feel like I was just filming, moving into my last apartment, feeling, filming, um, you know, last year. It's so crazy to think of how, how t fast time goes. Um, but I'm so pumped. First, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, let's just get started. Um, so I did see Andrea Maslano do her version of, well, her top 10 um, Sephora purchases uh, just recently. She just posted it. Um, they do start coming around around coming out around this time. Everyone and their mom does them. So, um, you know, it just, it just comes around, you know? Uh, so, yes, anyway, that's all I was trying to say. I went back into the vault of Sephora and I didn't realize that I had my first Sephora purchase was not until February 12th. And then the one after that was not until April. So April 4th is, well, like I really didn't purchase much from Sephora the first, like beginning few months of the, month of the year, which is so weird. But one of the first purchases I knew that I needed when I saw it come out and like I wanted it so bad. I wanted, like I really wanted it. And you guys know I talked about it so much on my channel. Um, I just needed it. And I guess whatever, that stay rolled around and I had to buy it. It's the Kosas Cloud Set Bake Setting and Soothing Talc Free Powder. So here it is here. I have the shade uh, Comfy. I can't even, I don't even, my brain can't even wrap around when, ugh, let me, let me make sure. I think that this is accurate because why, how would it make that up? But I'm pretty positive like this was that long ago and I just need it in my life. I needed it so bad in my life. On April 16th, 2021, <laughs> I got the um, Comfy Cloud Set Powder. I wanted it for weeks and look at it. I mean, she has used and abused the house down because I loved it so much. I still love it. I have like the like the wear marks in it. It's the best powder I've used in my life. And that is so hard, one of the two best powders in my life, I should say. But it's so hard to like, you know, get away from this because it's so good. It's $34, which is obscene, but like it is worth every single penny. So it's very, it's like the one of those things that is so hard. And that's the exciting thing about these Sephora purchases videos. Because it really is, what is the products that are worth the money for you and the splurge? Because Sephora is so bougie, so expensive. Like what products were actually worth that, what you spent, you know? Let's go down, let's go up more. Then the next purchase after that wasn't to, well, it was the 19th. Then I did some in May. This one, I the next one I placed May 20th. 2021, so I have had it for a while. <laughs> this is the Kaja Play Bento Queen Bronzer. I have the shade 02 Cloud Latte. I talk about this so much because it is so superb. It's not even funny. The cream bronzer on the bottom is delicious. It's such a nice and easy cream bronzer. Nothing too dewy, uh, not dewy at all. It's like, no it's nothing too ex extraordinary. It's the perfect, perfect cream bronzer. It's nice and like blendable, smooth, and it blends out easy, but it doesn't like move around on your face anything like that it's perfect the highlighter is not the best it's like literally just a highlighter but and it's not like something i would say you need this palette for the highlighter i do like the blush and the bronzer better but it's a good highlighter like it fits with the theme and stuff this blush though so delicious so smooth so soft and it just makes your face look so alive and like ooh, like it just woke you up but it also has this depth that i love to it especially the shade so it's just perfect the formula is perfect 10 out of 10 I recommend it's only 25 dollars um which again sounds like a lot but you get three products in one basically like for it's basically a face palette for 25 dollars not bad kaja is so freaking good definitely like found a new love for that brand this year too and then for my birthday around June 12th, one of the first parts of my birthday haul, I got two holy grails out of it. <laughs> first was the Sephora Size Up Mascara, another one that I wanted so long. When it first came out, I was like, I need that. It looks so good. And um, I'm so glad that I did get it eventually because I love it. It's become one of my holy grails. It is so voluminous and lengthening and curling. It's everything you want in mascara. It is so good. And it's only like $12 or something like that. It's literally $12. Like, I just filmed a video with the e.l.f. stuff, and the e.l.f. one's eight. So, to get it for four more dollars and it to be, like, ten times the product the e.l.f. one is, um, yes, please. Yes, freaking please. So good. That's crazy. Wow. I've had this for a long time. June. Almost six months, so this gotta go soon, but it's so good. I, I really love it. <laughs> and then the other product that I got out of this was the 
Tarte Hydroflex Serum Foundation. Um, I love this stuff so much and I want a full size, but like it's expensive. The mini guy here is $15, which is saying a lot, um, <laughs> but it's so good. It really is this like, I don't know, formula that melts into your skin and really just has this like weird ability to flex to your skin. And I don't know what it is, but I really love it. I think it's so good. And Tarte really hits it out of the park with their foundations. I didn't think anything could be as good as my Tarte Maracuja to Dehydrator. And this one is pretty close. I do like that one a little bit better. I don't even know. Really, they're basically similar. They're just a little different. So I don't know what it is, honestly. But this one's really good. <laughs> I say if you want to try a mini, go for the mini. I love that Tarte does mini. It's, it's one of my favorite things about Tarte. Um, so if you want to try a mini, go for it. It is so good. I really like it. It only has three stars. Wow. But so does my Sephora size of mascara. So people are just stupid. Well, yeah. For a couple of things back to back, we're kind of just like, oh, meh, meh, meh. Um, until I freaking got my hands on the, why am I out of breath? <laughs> the LYS Speak Love Glossy Lip Treatment Oil so freaking good so juicy so voluptuous oh my gosh this thing is just like i hate how big this is if it was half that size i would love it but it's so big for no reason but um look at it i've gone through it i mean i've had it for six months so i probably should have gone through more but it's so good i love the way it makes my lips look so juicy so voluptuous even better than this this is just like a lip plumper but it honestly gives the same effect and a little bit more it looks a little bit more juicy a little bit more glossy and it's so comfortable i love this stuff so freaking much 10 out of 10 would recommend it's only 12 dollars, which for like a glossy lip oil is kind of so so but it's so good like it's so worth it Oh my gosh, obsessed in love. Again, I found a new love for the brand LIS this year too. Uh, but none of the other products were as... I did really like the foundation, but I like other ones more. And so out of all the purchases here, I just didn't mention it. But um, I have to, I did find a new love for LIS this year in general. Ooh. Y'all. One that blew me out of the park. I didn't know I needed it. I think someone someone had commented on it and was like, hey, can you try this in a video and let me know what you think? And I was like, oh, sure. It looks like something I would like. It said, like, light coverage, um, glowing skin. <laughs> yes, please. So this is the Sephora Collection Clean Glowing Skin um, Foundation. Um, I got this August, July, yeah, August 7th. Um, so again, I have it for August, September, October, November, December. About four months, not too long, right? <laughs> um, it cost $20, and I think it was like the best $20 I've spent freaking, honestly, so, probably in this whole year, because this is so freaking good, it's not even funny. So this clean growing skin foundation enriched with matcha tea and vitamin C hydrates skin, leaving a radiant finish and light buildable coverage. And nothing could be more like true to what, I said this a lot. <laughs> nothing, but I'm serious. This is so perfectly worded, it's beautiful. This, Oh my gosh, I'm choking. <laughs> it really leaves your skin so hydrated and so beautiful and it looks so skin-like. Um, this radiant finish just really makes it look like skin and you look so just juicy and voluptuous. I love it. Um, and light buildable coverage. Ugh, you honestly could build it up to a little bit closer to medium, which is nice sometimes, but I do like to wear it like very light coverage, very um, uh, sheer. So I do, I, I love this girl so much. One of my favorites. Sephora Collection 2. They done did it this year. They did it for me this year, and I was impressed. Um, I want to use this, like, every day. <laughs> it was, um, I want to try this, the Sephora, like, the other bottle foundation, but because I did try this one and fell in love, I was like, oh, I don't even need to try the other one. I don't even need it anymore. And this just came a few weeks later. <laughs> it's so weird because I feel like I just purchased this stuff yesterday. Like, literally, I feel like I just got it, but I guess four months won't we'll go like that it'll do it to you it'll do it to you um i did pick up the artist couture supreme bronze eyeshadow palette now this is not one like i use every single day but for a couple weeks first of all i did use it every day because i was obsessed the formula is so beautiful but the shades in here are just divine you just put one of these in your crease one of these in your outer corner this one in your outer corner or the black and the cool tones and the shimmer on the lid and it is stunning it like literally does the work for you it is so blendable so smooth i didn't know the the hype on artist couture eyeshadows <laughs> i didn't know i just said you know they're so expensive no need to try it it costs 42 dollars obscene but it is so freaking good i got this on august 31st um but it just is so yummy like come on every single shade in here is like to per like it's perfection and i love how you have uh, so many color stores in here you have cool tones you have warm tones you have like neutrals and like all your basic shimmers it's perfect literally perfect 
I'm just truly obsessed and I was like I didn't know what I needed in my life until I got this one of those things that I will never get rid of I need to hold on to forever um <laughs> and like I'll probably wear this on like Christmas or something Christmas Eve or something like that because it's just so fabulous and you feel like yes honey right I, yeah this is crazy wow in September like I just placed I just got look I just got the rare beauty mascara and like I got that in September it's a couple months wow all these things feel so long ago okay another one of my favorites that I picked up um September 12th so again just right it feels like just right around the corner but a couple months wow we'll really do that to you I picked up the Huda Beauty baby bake um loose setting powder in the shade banana bread 10 out of 10 would recommend. I love the setting powder so much. Um, I do have the white shade that I got in the Ipsy. I love that shade too, but the banana bread is nice for when I want something a little bit more natural, just very like set your face kind of skin tone kind of color. And then the white shade I used to like brighten if I want something a little bit more dramatic, a little bit bright, like more contoured face. That's what I'll go for. But this one is so good. It does not dry our makeup whatsoever. And it really just sets your face in the nicest way possible. I, I love it. I love it so much. I didn't know I needed it in my life. I wanted to try it for a while, but I didn't know I needed it. <laughs> Definitely with will go down with one of the Huda Beauty products that I just, I love. I love. There are a handful of those. Probably less than a handful of those. But I love them. I do. I'm just trying to look cute because I wore a red shirt. I'm trying to look different. I wore a red shirt in one of my other videos. And it was my TJ Maxx shirt. So I wanted to switch it up, but you know. Whatever. I was like, where are these purchases? The last two products were just done like within the last month. So on um, November 11th, I did pick up the Lawless Mini Forget the Filler like lip plumping trio kind of thing. I love this so much. Like to say that I just got it like a bare, almost a month ago and or like just a month ago and it's already my favorite and I've had products that I've had for like the entire year. That's saying a lot, but these are so freaking good. I knew that I needed these in my life. Um, someone, I, Babs Beauty, I think is her name. She just loves these so much. So here's the original shade in the shade Rosy Outlook. It's so good. It really does pump up your lips. It gives you like that kind of buxom kind of feel. Your lips look juicy, plump, but the, the real star of this is that it's so moisturizing on your lips like you wear it as a lip balm but it just looks so good it's just it's a unique formula that i didn't know could exist and i love it um i also use the shade um velvet for the first time and i love this shade too because it's not too colored it's the slightest bit tinted but barely and so i really like that and i still have yet to use the shade pink daisy i've had these for a month but <laughs> um uh, but I'm excited and I'm so glad that I picked up the trio. It's $25 for these little guys and they only have like freaking, oh my gosh, 1.7 milliliters, like 0 0.05 fluid ounces, like literally no product, but <laughs> they, so, they're so good and they're so cute and I do really like them. I should say, I should say. I did want to mention too, an honorary mention, not counting in my 10. I do, I picked up a few of the Makeup by Mario products and honestly, all those products I really do love. Um, I just only had to use them once, whereas like so a lot of these I've used multiple, I've used, you know, plenty of times. Um, those I've only used once and so it really wasn't like a, they're not really favorites, they're just products that I really like. <laughs> I liked the first impression, you know, so I do have to use those more, but I did really enjoy that. But one of the products that I did pick up on 1113 with some of my makeup by Mario stuff was the Rare Beauty um Always an Optimist 4 in 1 Mist. Oh, so glad that I got it. So sad that I got it so late. I feel like I really missed like I'm sad I didn't try it sooner. I've seen that video going around, but this is definitely one of those because oh my gosh, so good. So like it sets your makeup so well but gives you the slightest bit of glow. It really picks up your skin so nicely. And I didn't know again, I didn't know I needed this in my life until I had it. And so I've used this plenty of times you can see. Um and I just I really truly love it. Again, there are some products that I try that I really did like. I can like I'm looking at some that I just did like. They just weren't like top ten, you know? Like would I repurchase them? like go out and run out and get them it's like a lot of these I would <laughs> honestly because I love them that much and uh, some of the other products I probably wouldn't um again I've been liking some of the newer products I've got but I've used a lot of them just once or twice I couldn't believe I was in shock that I only had placed an order my first order wasn't even in January's in February and then after that jumped to April like that to me blew my mind but I wasn't on the, at the beginning I was definitely a full Ulta um 
because their point system was just doing it for me. <laughs> and they're like drugstore products. I was going ham on the drugstore products in the beginning of the year too. So, yes. So the quote for today is, decisions are the hardest thing to make, especially when it is a choice between where you should be and where you want to be. And I just, I love that. And I love thinking about that because, you know, so, so a lot of the time we think to ourselves, we're like, dang, I can't believe I'm in this situation. Or you feel so alone. But like even just knowing that there's a quote out there just means you're not alone and that, you know, it, it, it we all have to make those hard decisions. Again, especially between the things that we where we want to be, honestly, and where we should be. And they can be two different places. They could be the same place, but, you know, it really just depends on the choices that you make. And I know that that sucks, but just know you're not alone in that, um, you know, we all have to make those hard decisions. And we've all been there, and we're rooting for you. <laughs> that is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.